Let's talk to something. Today I'm back with another episode of Minecraft Survival. This is episode 5, I believe. 5 or 6. Last episode, we left off with an AFK. Five AFK fish farming. Okay, I did not realize I had more rods, but I went through about 5 or 6 rods, and this is the loot we got. Okay. Ooh. Okay, we do have a saddle. That is good. And I'll take other stuff that's worthwhile and let's take our items. So I'll just put these rods in there. I might as well put all this in there too. We're gonna check out horses though. Day 27 on the game. So, like, yeah, ouch. But, I don't think it'd be a bad time to check on the villagers. Oh, yeah, but the farm's, like, loaded. Yeah, my goal is beat the game, but right now, I was trying to have fun. Just mess around a little bit. So we're gonna check out horses. Um, they're like literally the easiest thing to tame. Right click them. When heart pops up, then they're tamed. Takes a handful of attempts. Oh no. Um, I did not want to kill them. Okay, that is a pillager. They spawn near villages. This one is known as pillager leader. But he's the one who gives you bad omen. Bad omen is a debuff that will make it so that every if you go into a village, you start a pillager raid. I okay. Who is fast walking? Speed? This one's pretty fast walking speed. Alright. I bet this is a fast one. Yeah, you just gotta literally keep retrying. We will attempt to raid sooner or later. Oh yeah, we have 35 levels. Alright, so we've tamed him. So, this one's pretty fast. I've seen way faster. I actually found a wild max horse one time. What's the hops in the city? I bet it's about two blocks. Yeah, right. I bet it's actually two minutes. So, villagers look like they're doing great. That's just fun. It's holding up. I might not have actually had these chunks loaded. Probably didn't. So, probably nothing actually happened. Okay. Pillagers. I'm considering actually fighting the raid, but... I don't have a bow, and bows are almost essential. I had that one, but it's not a real bow. Okay. So... Anyways, I'm gonna harvest a wheat farm. And we're gonna continue construction of the house. See the frame drop? Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Alright. Well, anyways. Two things in order. Starting a really nice mob farm. And making my house. So 
We're going to sort each one of these. Phantoms. Okay. Uh, you Minecrafters don't know what these are. These guys spawn in after you don't sleep for a while. And they drop this really nice item called a Phantom Member. Very useful. Start swooping at you. This is a phantom membrane. You can use those to repair essentially with the wing thong. That's more of a glider. But if I can get a mob farm that's good enough, I can turn them into a stone. All I need is an automatic sugarcane farm and a good enough mob farm and boom. Because all it is is 16 gunpowder. Like four or five stacks of gunpowder. I get a shulker box full of fireworks. visual effects but it also makes fish easier to catch and mobs no longer burn in the daylight that used to burn in the daylight like zombies and skeletons burn in the daylight that's why people sleep and stuff you know creatures spiders don't but spiders aren't an issue during the day Uh, this is a thunderstorm that scared the crap out of me. That is actually nice though. There's gonna be a mini boss per se. It's gonna spawn most likely. Skeleton horses will be in our grass. Now this is what are they called? I forgot what they're called. Skeleton trap. You see a lone unheard of skeleton traps. If you see a lone skeleton horse sitting out in the open, then it is there. Maybe kid. Is there better rain graphics? Dynamic lights fast. Quality. Better snow. 
Empty textures. Oh, jeez. I messed with something. Okay. Where's like better rain? So, shield, okay. What you have to do is you have to make a field goal post. And then a piece of iron. Boom, shield. Why do I want a shield for this? Because these guys, if one of them spawns, they're really nice. Is that a fire? No, that's a bit different. Paranoia. Just gotta be careful because they give you a lot of stuff. Skeleton traps give you a lot of iron armor. Should be nice. Should just get regular skeletons here. Watch this. Completely blocks attacks. You can just spam it. Shields are weak. Even though I like to use them like this. These have a lot more range on swords than people realize. Jesus Christ, you see my flinch there? I'm more to spawn. It wasn't fully loaded, that's not fair. See how far zombies can see, it's crazy. It's just a regular skeleton. That is iron armor. It's just... It's so easy to kill now. Get him, Skelly. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh, that was a trident. I don't know where the trident came from. Tridents. They really, really hurt. I blocked it. Okay. Run. Run, 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 run. run. Tridents. Really, really hurt. Did I say really hurt? They really hurt. <laughs> Worse than the diamond sword. Oh, yikes. Run. <laughs> This is a thunderstorm. One trap has to spawn for a thunderstorm, right? That's what I'm doing. Let's just keep building. Alright, so. Oh my gosh, you have to keep me. Geek 
got a kitty, right? It's too good to sleep. Kind of defeats the purpose, because those guys can knock you out of bed. Probably trap chilling somewhere that direction. Alright, they won't hit me while they're in fact. They're too worried about themselves, so. Okay, so. Now we need to go up there and build a big cross for the bed. Oh yeah, water. to stop me. Still is pretty slow. I'm gonna test my speed bridging. That is why I do not speed bridge. Sooner or later, I'm going to get rid of that hitter. Oh, yeah. I don't do this. Keep going. Looks like I'd always have that weird little awkward segment. This house should look pretty nice when it's done. There's a ski I'd like to build. <sighs> I need more wood. Gosh dang, man. Honestly, by the time lapse, me chopping down that entire forge. Look at the little clearance I've made over there. I wouldn't be surprised if when the skeleton trap comes up, I flinch really bad. If it even comes up in the first place. It's not me, it won't, but... I'll tell you what, I'm gonna do some off-camera mining in between episodes. The one instance I find diamonds or something like that, or even multiple things of diamonds, just haul them. Getting to the end of beating the Ender Dragon is not just good for beating him. <laughs> you get a lot of stuff. Whatever I can, this dragon's breath. Get a bunch of it. Get some dipped arrows, they're really nice. Get some instant damage arrows, those are really nice. Except they're just really tedious to get. After I do this, I plan on just building some really grand things, doing some really grand things. Like, after I get a little bit more stuff built, I'm going to strip mine. So I need a lot of cobble for what I plan for this house to kind of look like. I mean, the frames are looking nice. And here's the question. I know I'm going to make the little frame thing. That was insane reaction time, if I don't say so myself. This is going to be glass. This is going to be glass. But, like, what should I make the walls? Just straight up wood? Should I create a bed war series? That's interesting. It's 
very fucking Bed Wars, like with the boys or something. Honestly, I kind of want to make this one higher. It's too late, though. So... After we get this floor mined out, oh god, we're going to uh, strip mine. Just, right, I'm bored of that. I'm bored. Um, let's actually build now. Let's test different pallets. Cobblestone. Just bland cobblestone. Here, I'm just gonna. Oh, man. Let me look at it from this angle. It doesn't look so bad. Goodness gracious. I'm going to take this pickaxe. Honestly, what? Here, maybe if I use, like, oak wood. Like contrasting the darkness of I don't think that'd be that bad. That's about 25 minute mark. We're gonna end the episode. I'm going to do some mining off camera. Oh gosh, where did I put the iron? Like by mining I mean a lot of really diamonds bring it over years. Literally no strategy when you go into the mining just Enjoyed this episode. If you could drop a like.